morning, folks. It's 7.03 a.m. Sunday, August 6, 2017. Three is people getting together. Zero is completion. People getting together for a good thing. Zero is completion and seven is spiritual, spirituality. So people getting together, completing their spiritual knowledge, understanding their spiritual spirituality, which understanding would really be a two, as 407. Fortitude to complete your spirituality, your self-awareness. Um... This is just a quick video. I gotta. It's gotta be 15 minutes or under. Excuse me. And, uh. So I don't have to render it. I gotta get back up here and put some other videos on behind, uh, behind it that are already rendered. Just have to load them up, I think. Um. Two days that have stuck in my head for August 4th and now a very hard uh, November 28th. When I see a date that's very important, it means something has been made to happen and it's going to take, uh, excuse me, something really momentous to change it. And then I do the other side's kind of sad about it. It used to be about me fighting and telling them all to get screwed and everything. I'm I'm tired of what I've been going through. Um, I know a lot of you feel the same way in your own lives. It's just I'm different. I'm made for. I was made for a different purpose. I'm trying to fulfill it, and it's difficult. No matter who you are, when you're when you're in a body, you're in a body. If you have no access to who you really are, like a small stream of energy, that's it. The only reason I can do what I do is just because I'm that strong. That's all. That stream's bigger. That's all. It's what we do. Um. As far as completing my goal, I mean, I'm I'm getting there, but I'm I'm just not at all happy with how that's going. But anyway, whatever. Enough beating myself up. Um, excuse me. August fourth was very important. Uh, a couple of days ago, uh, I've talked about in some of my other videos. Uh, some people that have come and worked with me in Deanna, uh, come around uh, Berju. Um, uh, they came to Deanna's house a long time ago. Um, they were aware that Deanna's eggs were going to be used to make some very special children. And it's not just Deanna, it's some others. But these very special children I'm talking about, very powerful is what I mean by special. Everyone's special. Nothing's any better than anything else. How can it be? It doesn't even make sense. It, it's it if 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 you don't have equality, you have no foundation. Everybody wants to be better than. I just want everyone to be leveled out and happy. When I say say leveled out, I mean calm inside. Because whether they like it or not, everyone is equal. Everyone has the right to exist until they hurt others, and then they'll be told a time, two, maybe even three times to stop. If not, they get deleted. No, ma no mas, man. As we say in Atlanta now. Um, so, but these folks that have been coming in, uh, uh, she asked us to uh, um, call her Sereni. Um, 
uh, and uh, also uh, Mele. She's Serpacian. Uh, uh, Serena, you know, she's the uh, Serpacian. Uh, um, she's the uh, um, Serpoian that uh, uh, Brajus uh, talked about, and I've talked about myself a long time ago. That's the name Brajus gave her. Um, but they've been running around Deanna's house. They'd knock stuff over, turn it around, you know. You know we finally had first contact over here um, August 4th. Uh, it's it's a very soft issue. Um, but 11.28, uh, let's just leave it as what I'm really aware of is going to be a very strong day for a few reasons. Um, I've talked about these people being here, the Allurians and the rest of them, what they do, how cool they are. Um, as a matter of fact, talking about this stuff, Paul Cherick, he's had um, reptilians running through his house, Anunnaki and stuff forever. <laughs> if they're waking up, you know, Paul get pissed, they go running through the house. And they wake his dogs up, Lupo's his big dog, and, arr, arr, and then boom, they beam out, you know, because they're only halfway there anyway. That's how they walk through very easily and so quietly. But sometimes they'll actually make a complete physical form. They don't phase in and out like the Fae. When they beam in and out like this, it's beaming technology. They're subdimensional. People say phasing in and out. Well, they're, they're being made to be in between dimensions. So maybe phasing in and out of a dimension, I don't know. It, I understand the thought process behind that, but their bodies aren't changing phase, the energy around them. Because remember, when they beam in and out, they're in an energy field. So the energy field itself is changing. Um, but anyway, uh, Serene, uh, Mele, she's the Serpacian. They're like the Antids, which is, they look at... Uh, um, as much like a mantis uh, as an ant, but they don't have the claws, and they look, they're different, okay, they're different, you have to see them, but you will, you're, you, <laughs> all right, thank you, you're going to see them, um, uh, I knew this was going to happen, so did Deanna, um, uh, Deanna, all the money coming in and out of here is Deanna's, um, uh, she listens to me when we need to speak uh, to spend some, but uh, she's pretty speedy about letting me know when I'm pushing it a little hard. And that's, but she trusts me, and I, I'm so happy that she's the way she is because she's going to take care of things properly. Everything's going to be just fine in that regard. And personally, I need that. There's so much I'm, I'm doing, and then so much more I need to do, and so much of it is out of my hands. <laughs> but it's okay. It's, I don't control what goes on in people's lives. I can I can affect it, but I can't control it. Nothing in the body ever shit anyway. <laughs> I can go on the other side. I can make something stronger. And I can go the other way. But I have no control over anything. The CIA thought I could. Every time I got near an airport, they'd freak out because they knew I was going into people's heads and changing them. They thought I could do more. If I even could, which I can't, you know, like control somebody, take the plane and fly it into a building. What? What are you, crazy? I serve and protect. They have no concept. They're not awake. When I came here knocking on the front door, they figured it out. Anyway, um, so uh, their spirit inside. Uh, Serena Mele, um, uh, the, the way you say it, the way Deanna says Mele, is, it's, it's, and Serena is nicer. Serena is basically meaning serenity. Um, they're uh, doctors and leaders, and uh, uh, especially uh, uh, Mele in botany and uh, biology. They're, they're incredible. Uh, some of the universe's best doctors are the ones that are putting our children together and putting the embryos in, into uh, back into Deanna just for a few days at a time and pull them out. They know what they're doing. They've been doing this forever. Anyway, uh, 
Um, so I talked to him uh, two days ago, August 4th. I talked with uh, uh, Sereni, Mele, Tear. I threw a thought towards both his sons, Raag and Og, that I talked to, just sent them the information, basically. I don't know how to describe that, really. But they, when I did, they turned around and looked like, okay. Um, and then there's another gentleman that um, does this work uh, with um, uh, Sereni and um, Mele. Anyway, uh, I talked to him and I said, look, you know, we need to hurry up and move things along. I literally took my love and pushed it into him to the point where my eyes started tearing up. And I told him it's time to, you know, to meet. It's time to get together. It's time to start this. And I, you know, I've got some big implants inside me just to keep me going. I've got one that goes most of the way through my body, just trying to keep everything functioning. My uh, cirrhosis is so bad. Uh, I was at Costco yesterday, and one of my friends, this is not this going to go over 15 minutes, whatever. Um, and he's one of the big, one of the main managers there. He's a really Christian guy. He doesn't understand a lot of the stuff I say, but he feels my heart. And I, I like I said, well, I went to Costco one time, bought 60 something roses, just went. Round handing out to the ladies, say, Have a good day. They're like, Who is this nut? <laughs> they don't understand me, but they almost all like me. Some of them just get pissed, that's all. Anyway, uh, uh, he looked at me and said, Damn, Jay, what's with the weight gain? Your body, and, and I said, It's the cirrhosis. And he goes, Damn, man, that sucks. And I said, Not really. I'm ready to go. Um, but it makes you look pregnant. And your legs swell up. Your liver can't control the water through it properly. So, I, you know, don't eat what I used to. And I'm, I'm not vegan, but I'm, I'm working hard on being there. It's just, there's a lot going on. But anyway, uh, my body's falling down. My energy strong. Yeah, no problem. Uh. Yesterday, uh, Deanna had a consult, and uh, I went ahead and went into uh, the, the a person, the person's other half, uh, their children, uh, uh, the nephew, did a full crank up on all of them, so... You know, pay for one, and they got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Pay for one and get six. Um, it's not about the money. Money's just necessary to keep going. So anyway, uh, what, the reason why I even made the video and wanted to throw this one out first um, is out of order. Okay, um, I'm, gonna do, I'm doing that purposely. Uh, sometimes I'll put a bunch together the same day and they get mixed up, but it's whatever. It's not me. Anyway, uh, I leaned back. I went after I talked with Sonny Melly and I said, we have to do this now. You can feel my love, feel my heart. It's time for this to happen. You know, I don't have a lot more time and you know, they're helping me keep going. Um, I said, you can feel my love. You know, there's no problem. It's time. And I told him last night, I said, man, I just want to give you a hug physical hug their bodies aren't like ours so what who gives a crap my body's not like what it was either anyway uh, it doesn't matter it's the heart is who you are inside source is powerful and it takes that kind of power to do some things it doesn't make it any better nothing else there's a lot of wonderful source folks in my family I say, my family, they look at me, they call me dad. They think of me as dad, father. Why? Because their spirit, what they are, came from what I am inside and uh, Lily. Mostly Tiger Lily. So. A 
and that's what these other folks are. So we're, we're having a family reunion in a little while, but we have to get this first contact stuff over. And so I said that in the morning, and then it was somewhere around 12 o'clock. The exact time isn't important. We didn't write it down. The fact that it happened was important. Um, I literally uh, reached back, and I actually literally touched uh, Serene. <laughs> You wonder sometimes how uh, our extraterrestrial friends, family, can move around an area where there's no room. How they go in and out of stuff. They're in their energy field that's subdimensional. They can go through it. Um, so she made herself solid enough to where we felt each other. Folks, I felt the physical touch. I couldn't feel the edge of something. It wasn't sharp like that, but I had a physical... It's like something soft, a physical touch right there. I lean my arm back like this. I just kind of quick went boom like that. She didn't expect it. And boom, she was standing there, subdimensional for me to uh, feel her. So you can't see them, but they're right there. So, and they do have technology that can be there physically and you can't see them. Anyway, um, that was funny. I, I said, and I looked around, first thing I do, the first thing you always have to do, if you don't do this, you're not being honest with yourself, and if you're not being with honest, if you're not being, excuse me, if you're not being honest with yourself, what the hell are you doing? Anyway, so I looked back, I said, what? You know, and I could, then I looked at my head, and I saw something moving like this, you know, as I put my arm back, something moving, coming out. I said, what the hell? And Deanna looked, and she said, I saw an arm. Like up here, and I said, yeah, me too, Sereni. Um, first, I was like, what the hell did I hit? I said, I bump into something, it was a, like a, a sensor or a fay or something. It just hit me. I mean, it just, uh, I was so surprised by what happened. I said, what the hell? And then I, I stopped for a minute and I had to, you know, you stop and just go back a moment in time and then you look at what actually happened. And that's when Deanna, before I said anything, she said, it was the upper arm of uh, Sereni, and it was. And then uh, that same day, August 4th, uh, Deanna was sleeping in bed. Uh, she has a hard time sleeping. We have different hours and uh, sometimes she takes the, you know, she's from Spain. She's Spanish. Um, English is really good, but and she's incredibly intelligent, book smart, and everything. And she's upset now that she's getting uh, even more brains, even more powerful metaphysically, that it takes away from some of the smarts. But folks, when you when this happens, it doesn't really happen like that. You, you're smarter, but your brain's busy doing other things. Then talk about using all of your brain. Yes. So anyway. Uh, Someone who's awake and using their body, they're using between 85 to 100% of the brain. Okay? It's not like that movie, uh, She's Family too, but uh, um, plays the Black Widow with the Avengers. Uh, Scarlett Johansson, um, that movie she put uh, she was in where they eat this chemical it, it modifies you and you use 35 percent of the brain and she's controlling no it is that's it's a movie um anyway uh uh so then diana because she'll take a siesta you know being spanish not always but lots of times and then we get worked on, we get hammered. The past week, we've been getting hammered so damn hard. The two of us waking up and already be, boy. That's setting up our mind frames to be talking with these folks one-on-one, -on -one, physically. Like, hi, I see you with these. So, in the videos you're going to see after this, I knew it was coming, but I didn't know exactly how. And... I'm not holding on to anything. It happens, it happens. That's fine. But uh, if it doesn't, that's fine too. I know for a fact it's going to happen after I go. This stuff has to happen. So I can't tell you what day I'm leaving. I know about when because I know certain things have to happen and then I know it'll be time. But it, 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 there is no date for me to leave yet. 
an exact date? No. About when? Yes, I know. Um, doesn't matter. Then, it part of my own energy doesn't want me to know the exact day. And it, 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 the things I do, the the way I act, <coughs> the way I handle certain things, the willingness that I have to do certain things while I'm still in body, literally creates the situation when the date can be made when I leave. Your lives are very much like that too. So anyway. Um, uh, with the siesta that Deanna takes too, it offsets her sleeping sometimes. So sometimes she's awake. And we do ship out and do business kind of 24-7, on and off 24-7. So uh, we have times when we're sleeping at the same time, you know. Uh, so... Uh, that's when we get visitation. I woke up this morning and I could uh, taste this huge implant I have inside. It goes through my whole uh, body and it has little feelers coming out. That's it's almost like uh, it's almost it's like it's an addition to my body to replace some of my failing internal organs and stuff. Trying to keep me going. Anyway, uh, so she was, uh, when she can't, she'll wake up at night sometimes. And um, so then she'll get on the computer. And sometimes she'll do some reading and stuff. She's so smart, man. Um, and then she starts to fall asleep again. Believe it or not, in the morning when I make noise um, doing these videos, lots of times she can sleep. Um, <laughs> hopefully that doesn't happen to everyone when watching my videos, huh? <laughs> uh, she knows that she she knows that I'm here. Um, anyway, uh, so she was um, it, she was trying to go to sleep. It was like about eleven o'clock at night or something, and she's laying in bed, and all of a sudden, so, and we already knew that some small folk were coming. Um, Tomorrow, what's today? Sunday. Tomorrow uh, night, when we go to sleep, it'll be the next day, actually. Uh, we have visitors coming in some more. And they have uh, amphibious stuff going on with them. Their, their bodies, the way they look, um, and their DNA. But anyway, uh, so we knew we had these smaller folks coming in. There's uh, uh, two over here, three over there, and then two more. Um, one, kind of like one in the front, one in the back, hanging, hanging around. So there'll be seven of them here. Now this I already know. It's in the timeline. I'm looking right at it. So. Um, so they popped anyway. That I'm talking about like it didn't happen yet. I, um, I just, this is what we knew they were going to come. And sure enough they did um and they uh deanna was uh laying in in the bed on the side and looking at everything and yeah you know, on the computer and, and then all of a sudden something goes up to her shoulder and just <clears throat> nudges her like that <laughs> and she's like what is so she looks around and she goes oh okay and then she turned around the other side, took the computer over, laptop over there, was playing with a little bit, and started to fall asleep. So she's working with the computer, and then she's watching uh, like a movie or something. And the, the laptop's like this, and the screen comes back like this. All of a sudden, a hand goes like this, and then it goes like that and disappears. It materialized enough, and then comes in and out, and then it goes. And uh, so she's like, eh, whatever. Um, it's cool. It really is. It's neat. But when you're really tired, and you understand this anyway. So anyway, I'm calling that first contact, I guess. Um, it, it's, or, or what is it? I don't know. Did they call it the, uh, the third kind of contact or something? Anyway, it was the beginning of personal contact. 
I knew it was going to happen. Dan his uh, her duties on his ship coming up in the not so far away future. It's like a Drock envoy ship. I've seen this coming for a long time. I'll be out of here soon. I can do what I need to. So I know it's going to happen. But folks, we need to understand that they're there to help. Uh, I got hammered again yesterday to hurry up and make the video about uh, um, our friends being here and what they're doing. To put a, to put a lot of it together in one video to show you basically what's happening. Uh, as just a basic thing about what's going on. This thing about the... Uh, uh, What's the movie I just told you about? The fourth, it's like the fourth type of contact or something. I can't remember. Um, uh, the first uh, encounters are the first, second, third, and fourth kind. First is seeing a U the encounters of the first kind are seeing a UFO. Encounters of the second kind is when they you see it, but it leaves a mark like in the grass or something like that. You know, um, and then encounters of the third kind is when you actually see them, and then encounters of the fourth kind uh, is when you're abducted. Um, there's the Enog I just told you about. Uh, they called themselves, they, they told the Sumerians they were God. What's with this God crap? Anyway, uh, so with that, you know, we knew this was going to happen. As we get closer to the time, we're both, Deanna and I, are told about this and everything. Uh, Deanna sees with her uh, pineal and everything else, but she sees with her heart. Those of you that are heart-based, you have no idea how strong you are. I've told you that before lately. You see through dimensions. When you're looking and talking to someone on the other side... In the second dimension, the one right above us, you literally feel their energy. Your hearts are communicating through the barrier. I remember how the barriers are made. <laughs> I was right there. Hello. They're made specifically to perform certain function to separate two different fields of frequencies. The dimensions are separate stretched out fields of frequencies with barriers in between that have allowances within them. There's no time vortex and crap like that. That's bullshit. Believe what you want, but you'll find out what you need. So. But you're not going to find it out just reading the internet and saying, oh, that's right. Oh, then you read something else. Well, I can make that fit with what I'm trying to put together with this other crap. Next thing you know, you're like, Gee, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Well, it's going to make sense when you find it out from inside yourself. From the very beginning, people say, Jay, what what church do you have? What philosophy do you have? Wow, this stuff you do. How do you know this stuff? And I said, my philosophy is you. They go, what? I said, yeah. I'm here to make you stronger so you see it for yourself. What the hell other kind of truth is there? And they're like, well, that makes sense. And go, no one else is doing that. And I said, well... Honestly, it, uh, I am very, very strong energy. Nothing could stop me from doing what I needed to do. But everything I do is about all of you. It's not just people, it's plants, you know, animals especially. Because they're hit the hardest. It's about everything. Yeah, everything but the old man overalls. I'm not important, I do what I need to do. It's everyone else becoming themselves, having finally having freedom. That's my excitement. That's my happiness. I see people coming awake and aware, and I just man, it just fills my heart. It's the coolest thing in the world. It's like yes, another light bulb becomes alive. Anyway, uh, so, um, <coughs> <coughs> um, 
excuse me. I don't mean to be gross. Can't help it. I'm just sick. Anyway, uh, so Dan and I bought a lot of equipment. It's not the most expensive stuff in the world, but spent a couple grand um, getting some nice cameras uh, made for night vision. And uh, uh, don't know when. Might be a couple months. Don't think so. But uh, I expect we'll have some pictures to show you. And uh, <clears throat> those of you that already know me, you know I'm not about hoopla, um, fluffy puffy. I have a lot of love in my heart. Um, I'll die for anyone that needs it, but uh, I'm no wussy. Um, I don't make crap up. Don't know how to do Photoshop. Don't need to. Besides, this is live. I don't know what you call it. Um, so as much as they want of as much as they want to show of what they're doing, you don't just catch them by surprise. They know about this. I've told them blatantly, but if I didn't tell them blatantly and put it up, it'd be like an insult to them. It'd be an insult to my honor. I screwed that up enough growing up, trying to become myself. Trying to learn how to be myself. Well, f feeling like you're fighting every damn thing in the world. How many people relate to that, huh? A lot. A lot with love and care in their hearts. It's funny, we bought that stuff. Uh, we'll put it, uh, we're putting it together. But they'll make sure that they'll show themselves as much as they want to. They are in control of this. I'm setting up the opportunity for them to do it. And this will happen when it's everything's right for the other side, for what they're putting together, and for them. But like I said, I had some strong dates where some, some stuff is going to happen. Don't know exactly what's got to happen. Things aren't like they used to be, folks. Isn't that awesome? Anyway, uh... I need to go back to making those spheres. Uh, 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 and for the uh, Van Long and family, um, I'm going to finish your spheres. I got this one here. I had to stomp with the other stuff going on. This is the shamanic Merlinite sphere. Van and Dan Wong. Sorry, I'm having a hard time talking today anyway. That's why, literally, my name is Jay. It's one letter. And A2, <clears throat> A2 2017 is when I made this one. My, my body's sick, folks, but my energy is strong as hell. So, anyway, it's time for people to have some kind of better proof that these folks are here. It's time for you to see basically what some look like in an atmosphere where there is some trust. And there's people that won't trust me. That's fine. You shouldn't just do it openly. You should make your own decision. Gather the information. But I give you good information. So, it's my job. I don't care what you think about me so much as I care about you know it's not that I don't care about you it's, whatever you want to think about me is fine I, I, I hate to phrase it like that it's like I don't care about you about anyone yes I do you're my reason for being everything everything is my reason that's what I was made for I just want to be let loose to do my job it will be soon most of me is out there it's just this the head of the nail is stuck in this damn body. But anyway, um, all this crap, the lies, it needs to be put away. It needs to be turned into the smoke, the worthless smoke that it is, and let it dissipate. 
and I will get that video done soon. And I've also got to make these spheres, and I'm finishing uh, tidying up the uh, small, very small little errors in the first two books. There's always a typo or something, you know, that's screwed up. Anyway, I paid for that. I just need to hurry and do it. Um, and we're changing the cover of the rune book the way Deanna wanted to do it the first time. Uh, she does all that stuff. She's got so much she's doing. Plus new equipment, learning how to use it, yada yada. It's like, damn. Anyway, um, uh, moan groan. I want you to know about this. This is important. It's important for them. It's important for you. I told you we have a family, man. We do. I told you you're awesome. You can do stuff you never knew. You can. You are doing it. It's time for you to have more faith in yourselves because there's nothing on the other side beating you up like they used to be. There's still some problems popping in and out. That'll get settled when I get home. It's time. I have a hidden smile on, on my face. I'm maybe not so hidden, um, makes me happy. The first life was with Lily and I, my better half, and it was wrong, horrifically wrong, and that never changed, never. They learned how to, the original first being male and female, learned how to control their abusive designs including these bodies that we're in flesh prisons flesh and bone all oh, it's changing it's going to become what it should have been originally who do you think for that? no one it just is things are becoming what they should have been that's all You have a rain come in that's soothing and healing and refreshing and feeds the plants, which also take our carbon uh, dioxide and give us oxygen. And, and then the sun, you know, the sun comes up. It's it's you don't get on your knees and say thank God. God had nothing to do with that. That's a natural cycle here on the planet. You want to thank someone for for all the way things are set up. That would you know people sit down for a meal. Thank you God for this food. Why don't you thank the animals that were tortured, abused? They were killed while, while alive and bled to death, horrifically. It's going on all day long. Your DNA, for most people, is made to want the meat. They kill each other just to stay alive. Oh yeah, we got a beautiful creation. Oh yeah, lovely God. God's dead. Good damn thing. They were sick. It was the original first being that split into male and female for company. They were lonely. They had 27.5% uh, a, a lower frequencies, what we call negativity. They wouldn't change when they knew what they were doing was wrong. So they were destroyed. Now creation becomes what it always should have been. About itself. Everything in it. Nothing can stop that. Nothing will. Life is about itself. Creation is about itself. Anyway, um, as things happen, don't know when, we'll let it loose. Um, November should be an interesting month, but I'm sure there'll be little things here and there. And as soon as I get these uh, spheres out, i got to learn more about the cameras, set them up so when they do make a physical body, it'll trip the sensors and take the pictures and 
it also starts video it's high definition video night cams stuff wasn't cheap but you know you get a real good camera you're gonna spend uh, a few thousand on it just for the night we don't have that but we're not gonna need to you can't trick our friends from in space from taking a picture of them they're gonna let themselves be known they do it on purpose because they want to be seen slowly this for me meeting these people that are coming a lot of them like Serene and uh, Melee and this other gentleman I don't have his name yet they're family when I meet up with those that uh, uh, that have my spirit inside um, it's a very special moment I don't know how to explain it it's hard energy I have that feeling with a lot of people from past lives I am the old fart I've been around forever it seems but whatever anyway maybe I mention myself too much in certain things when I talk but I'm trying to put everything in the context to understand what's going on this is your time you're free why not spend a little time relaxing floating in yourself and come alive all the stuff you were told about you can't do this you can't do that bullshit there's no aliens there's no ETs because God wouldn't allow it because we're too special wow really religion teaches you a lot of good things especially Christianity Someone slaps your face, turn the other face, the other cheek, and say, hit me over there, too. What are we doing? Trying to make sadists or whatever that is? No, trying to make you, trying to dominate you, make you domicile. And the meek, the lamb, shall inherit the earth. Yeah, until they made lamb chops. Gross. Anyway. Things were made wrong. Don't go look at something and say it. Unless you intentionally hurt someone, don't think it's your fault. Just keep going. And if you made, um, if you find a better way to do something, then do it. That's progress. You didn't make a mistake. You're, you suck. You made a mistake. Fuck that shit. There's no such thing. You're learning. Again, what, what mathematician... Today we have calculators and stuff, but what mathemat early mathematician or artist doesn't have an eraser... It's called progress, not being deficient. Everything's made to depress, to make you depressed, self-defeating. Nah, screw that. Someone has that attitude towards you. Look him in the eye. Excuse me. Say what you want. I just look him in the eye, and I'll either, if if they're good people and you're confused, I'll say, "Damn, what the hell are you thinking of?" If it's not, I'll get in their face and get a little different. I can't hardly even make it up the stairs. No lungs, no nothing anymore. I'll get in anyone's face. I'll, I'll get in a hundred people's face. I'm your big man. I don't give a shit. You know, it's funny. They say the the most dangerous animal is one that's not afraid of death. I think you can change that to saying the most dangerous animal is the one that wants to die. <laughs> the one that's ready and wanting it. That's funny. Anyway, I don't mean to end, that on, end this on an aggressive, vicious note, but folks, I'm a thing of love, of heart energy, with a ton of fortitude. But I was made to be aggressive when the need came up. Um, I was made to read frequencies and everything so I could make immediate decisions about stuff. I was made to serve and protect, so that's why I can do some of this stuff. And I was made real strong, that's how I can go into you and make all these changes to you.
and try to keep in mind those of you now and those that are coming for the next years if something was worth your praise it not only wouldn't want it it wouldn't allow it in the immediate way to look at that you love your children do you want them to bow to you for they come in the house if you do you don't love them well I need to leave you alone but I wanted to tell you about that before you hear these other tapes and you just that's another reason for the timestamp when I hold it up is to show you the date now maybe there's some way to manipulate the time in these things I don't know the dates or something if there is I don't know about it I don't care maybe there's some way to I don't know whatever I don't think there is but Anyway, uh, I've been telling you for years, time is, the times are changing, that we have friends in space, families meeting, your, these original angels were being taken out, those that were a problem, the few that were really cool were being, have been enhanced greatly, made much stronger, more powerful. That's what they deserve for the servitude that they gave to the original first being male and female and then letting go of that to become themselves instead of just attacking me and other people. That's the one group I actually went after viciously. They started hurting people. They come out of the bodies and they, the original male and female were dead already and they started attacking people. It's not your fault, you can't see that. You'll see what you need to, and then, you know, what, what you go as far as you can to see what you can, you will be shown what you need to see to help you along the way. Creation has changed, it's moving on a certain path, but each one of you are writing your own book now. You have as much free will as you can possibly have in a body. It's just there's still a little bit of chaos on the other side. That'll go away soon. So, boy, Jay thinks a lot of himself. Now I know what I am. And not only am I not about myself, I, I really don't matter other than doing my job. It's not being a robot, I have a heart. So I never wanted anything for myself, I want it for others. Y'all are leaders. This planet's about to change. Every one of you will take the information you learn yourself and teach it to others. But the movement, this awakening movement, is just becoming self. There's no great philosophy being pushed on anyone. This is an awakening for people to wake up their abilities and see things for themselves. And remember, after you get used to, once you awaken, start becoming yourself, and then, you know, the thing with our extra terrestrial family members, you meet them. After that happens, remember, you still got the fey coming in on this planet where you're going to see them out of nowhere, make a physical body, say hi, and then release it. And they usually look different, but they can make bodies like ours. So, this has only just begun. Uh, but you were here right now it's an important time anyway look i usually try to say goodbye what two three times every video sometimes more um whatever our friends offer us we'll catch on camera you know they'll set it up they'll make sure they're seen whether it's now or after this body finally drops and i get free it's going to happen because you need to meet them but they're willing it's already started 
when you think you see something, that's one thing. When something actually, when you actually make physical contact, when I don't mean like your hairs. I'm talking like that. Okay, that's that's when you know. That's how it starts. And a lot of you are having that already. I'm not making this about me, but I'm telling. Thank you, but I'm telling you, it's definitely going to be shown to you. Why? Because you need to meet them. You need to start to get ready to meet them very softly, very slowly. I told you when it was time they were going to come in and the Federation wouldn't be any, to be able to do anything about it. They were just going to go right by them. Well, I didn't know that the alliance would be made then and that the uh, Federation was going to be disbanded and that's why it was going to be like that. I wasn't aware of that and I don't care. JC's all knows all bullshit. It, hello? In a body. Stuck in a body here, just like you. So. Let's have some fun, but let's start believing in ourselves, okay? They can phase in and out. You can see them coming in and out. You can see spirit making a body coming in and out. The more you do this, the more you start understanding which is which. When it comes to that, I'm lucky. Because of what I am. And because of what I am, the way my life compared to yours, I don't think it's some kind of jolly ride. It's not. So. It is what it is. Y'all going to have a lot of fun. I'm getting out of here. Love you all, man. Have a good one. It'd be so nice if I could get this done with one thing, one shot, one attempt. Um, as I had mentioned, uh, it's, this is already happening with some of y'all. Uh, it's not like, this is only happening with Jay and Deanna, blah, blah, blah. No, um, it's been going on for a while, but it's time for this to, uh, it's time for it to start coming out. <clears throat> it's time for those of you that are having these experiences happen to understand what's going on. Uh, Stephen Levandusky. Um, you know, Stephen, you've been talking with Sapoian nonstop. Sapoian, even others, nonstop. For how long? And they've been bump bumping into you around the house. Paul, you've had them coming out. Paul Cherick, you've had them coming out all over the place forever. Um, Bergeau, they've been coming around. Of course, Deanna, too, I mean, and others. Um, uh, Michael Dex, they're hanging around the house. You recently had someone knock something over. The ones that are coming to you have the permission of the others to do so because there's laws against this happening but it's time for everything to start phasing into seeing them in person uh, all of you that are doing this if you get some uh, <coughs> excuse me night surveillance uh, cameras <coughs> excuse me there's some you can get um, that uh, they're flat, you can post somewhere, and uh, uh, they take eight uh, AA cell batteries, uh, 32 gig uh, SDXE card. If I was you, I'd spend a big bucks and get a real good one. Something like a 1000X uh, that reads about 150 uh, is it millibytes per second or something, I don't know. Uh, you'll see the 1000 and the 150, I think. I'm trying to remember the name of the company that makes them, I can't remember. But anyway, uh, there's a few people that make them. You can find them anywhere. They're called professional models. Uh, but uh, some of these cameras take 32 gig max or 64 gig max. You can get some real nice cameras that take, you know, probably take 128 gig. Uh, 
these camcorders I use for these videos do. They're really nice Canons. Um, but you don't have to spend a lot of money. And if they don't want to be seen, they won't. It's like, Paul, you've got, <clears throat> Paul, you've had so much stuff coming to your house forever, man. And Stephen, they're all over the place. So, it's time for this to happen, where they start coming out. Just feel when you need to turn it on or just leave it on. You need to do it a little bit anyway and play with it. That's weird. It's like a little teeny piece of ash just floating around. Anyway, uh... Uh, this is a gift that's waiting for you to do something about, so uh, good advice, get involved. You can get a, uh, you can go to Amazon.com and get a uh, night camcorder that'll work. Um, you can get cameras for a couple hundred dollars that'll work just fine. Um, but you might, might want to wait until the brush in against you or, you know, have been already. I'm not just talking to a few people. I'm talking to everybody. Everyone that's waking up. So. Folks, love you, man. Have a good